Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Gian aka Beach Outspoken and today I'm going to be doing another natural hair chat video. The topic of discussion today are my favorite hair care products for my type 4B slash C hair. I have been itching to do this video for a really long time but I wasn't comfortable enough to do it because I big chopped sometime in June and I didn't want to go ahead and be talking about my favorites after using them for like a couple of months. So I feel like I'm almost on that year anniversary coming up to it at least and I feel comfortable enough to know that some of the products I'm going to recommend to you guys are really ones that have been working for me. Actually all of the products I'm going to recommend to you guys are ones that um, work for me and have really made my hair thrive. Um, I'm going to be talking about them in terms of how I wash my hair so from all the way from pre-poo to my edge controls and um, yeah I hope that you guys enjoy this video I hope that you find it helpful I basically spent all the money to save you guys some and um, yeah if you have any product suggestions I happen to like to spend money so you can leave them down below to tell me what to try and maybe, maybe that will work for me way more than some of the stuff I have here although I doubt it I really feel comfortable with these products but yeah um, what do you think about the products are you gonna try some what have you tried what did not you like what do you like that you agree with me with like let's just have somewhat of a dialogue going on it's really fun to have comments from you guys and if you enjoyed this video of course please like it and subscribe it helps out a lot and let's begin why am I clicking anyway so um, the first thing I do um, before I wash my hair is pre poo with a hot oil treatment what I usually do is I don't have the oils here but I usually do um, a mixture of coconut oil jojoba oil Jamaican black castor oil and a little bit of eucalyptus and tea tree because I do put it in my scalp as well and I use that but right after that I like to detangle before I wash my hair because it really reduces the amount of tangles that I get post wash so one of the products I really have fallen in love with is the motions pre-wash detangling butter I got this last year and the first time I used it I was like thoroughly impressed and every single time I've used it since I've loved it this is my second jar the only problem with this is that this is not found in Trinidad and Tobago so um, you're gonna have to order this but I honestly think it's worth it of course the other step is to shampoo um, my favorite shampoo my favorite moisturizing shampoo and it's crazy because when I just got natural um, but when I just big chopped I was looking everywhere for moisturizing shampoos and I think in the process of that because I just like to spend money and keep I'm never satisfied I just keep I want to just keep going and see okay will this make my hair softer will this make my hair softer I ended up purchasing about maybe 12 to 15 okay so my phone just rang <laughs> but yeah um what I usually I was I was going on around about looking for shampoos yeah I think I was saying that I try like about 12 to 15 shampoos and I kind of realized that I was just gonna keep purchasing more because there's only so much moisture that a shampoo can provide and the one that I think like beats all of the rest is the design essentials I'm an avocado moisturizing and detangling sulfate free shampoo long ass name but this is one of the few shampoos that I've used that yes it made my hair not feel stripped and dried but it actually you can detangle with this shit although I know I don't really see the need to detangle with a shampoo I think it's really important um, especially when you have dry natural hair to have a routine that is moisturizing from the cleansing step all the way to your moisturizing step it just makes things easier if you have a shampoo that is stripping your hair immediately and then you have to now bring in a lot of conditioners and moisturizers and, and emollients to get that moisture back into your hair won't it just be easier to just use a shampoo that is cleansing yet moisturizing I think so but yeah that was a little rant but it's something that I think that you guys should really think about if you haven't thought about that yet another shampoo that I really like and this one is my clarifying shampoo is the um, Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strength and Grow and Restore Shampoo with Shea Butter and Apple Cider Vinegar these products have long ass names like anyway but <clears throat> um, why I use the shampoo as well as the design essentials is because this one actually has clarifying properties and sorry guys apparently I'm really popular today but yeah this shampoo has clarifying properties so it's able to um, remove the gunk and the when I say gunk I mean all the products and the oils and the gels and stuff that I put into my hair throughout the week to make it look good so I use this in conjunction with design essentials because design essentials cleans but I don't feel like if I'm getting 
everything out so this is kind of like my start over shampoo so I may use this like every two weeks according to how my hair feels or every month I you really can't have a set routine because you don't know what styles are gonna put into your hair so according to how your hair feels you clarify according to if your hair feels all right you just go with the design essentials and that works um, when I do my mid week wash and I just don't want to strip everything out and my hair doesn't need that because I just shampooed a few days prior I use the Pantene truly natural hair co-wash this thing is beautiful um, it is very moisturizing it does cleanse the hair of course it's a co-wash it's not gonna you know clean your hair like a shampoo but this thing detangles like a m it is <laughs> really good I love it so much I would recommend this if you're looking for a co-wash cool if you are exercising a lot and you know you need to wash your hair during the week but you don't want to shampoo it because it's drying out your hair definitely get this the price is right the size is right I love this and what I found myself doing recently is a mid protein step especially with my color treated hair I really want to make sure that there is that moisture and protein balance in my hair and I have two of them to show you guys one of them being the one that I've been using for a longer time and I know works and the other one is a new entrant that I think deserves some recognition so the one that is a long serving member is the Afogee Curlific Texture Treatment I ordered this off Amazon um, it's not available locally as far as I know so what it says here in the packaging is that it improves elasticity repairs damaged curls coils and waves and they say that it's a must-have for color treated curls and I mean the amount of manipulation, styling, coloring, heat styling, all of that that we do to our hair, it really does affect, of course, your hair strength and um, your hair's ability to bounce back and all of that kind of stuff. So using some sort of elasticizer or mid-step protein treatment really helps to restore back that balance because your hair needs protein just as much as it needs moisture. Although we uh, like scared of moisture because we think you know it's gonna make your hair hard you need that moisture protein balance in order to truly have healthy hair and when you do a lot of stuff to it like me when you color in it and all of that it's gonna affect the health of your hair just no questions asked um, a new entrant new entrant I'm talking about is the Garnier grow strong mask I picked this up because it had a seal in Pennywise and I was curious about it and this thing is really good now um, one thing I must admit is um, maybe it's my mind, but I feel like if the based on using the um, Sorry the Afogee for longer. I think that this one is really great at um, Giving me that bounce back to my curls and stuff like that But I think this as just a quick boost of protein during the week when you're washing your hair is really nice a thing that I love about this versus the Afogee is that it's actually moisturizing so I can detangle with this the Afogee I definitely have to go in with a moisturizing deep conditioner after because it does make my hair feel slightly hard but I still recommend it and I love it and if you want to try um, doing what I do which is a mid protein step eat up these products I think will work really well for you and of course what I do next is deep condition um, this was one of the categories that was hard for me because I still haven't found that holy grail deep conditioner that I think with my eyes closed I can put it in and I know that my hair will be detangled and perfect and moisturized and shiny and bouncy and curls will pop I haven't gotten that as yet so the ones I'm recommending to you are ones that I like but to tell you that I'm in love with them wholeheartedly would not be the honest truth honest truth that's an oxymoron anyway yeah it wouldn't be the truth so yeah I like these I would repurchase them but I'm still on the hunt for my true love deep conditioner just saying but the one that I'll give first preference is the um, Shea Moisture Jamaican black castor oil strength and grow it's just the strength and grow treatment mask right the JBC01 yeah to read out this name is kind of annoying <laughs> just kidding but um yeah this is again I always look for moisture protein balance in all of my deep conditioners so all of my deep conditioners well most of them have moisture as well as protein this one is the few ones that I can actually detangle with that make my hair feel soft post wash so I'm very impressed with this one and a favorite that I brought back from my relaxed hair days is the Joico moisture recovery treatment balm now first thing I want to tell you guys is that this has silicones in there that's probably why it's so easy to detangle with this product but I do feel like this does moisturize my hair and make my hair feel really good throughout the week so I would recommend this this is a little bit more pricey than the Shea Moisture so if you know you want to you know save some money get the Shea Moisture one but if you want to try this and splurge a little bit I definitely recommend the Joico Moisture Recovery 
and one that I am very 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 impressed with and the reason why I'm so I'm saying so many varies is probably because it's affordable it's the African Pride Shea Butter Miracle Moisture Intense Deep Treatment Conditioning Mask. I picked this up on a whim when I was going in Pennywise. I was just like, let me look at conditioners and I ended up finding this. What impressed me about this and why I had to pick it up is that the first five ingredients are water, shea butter, mango seed butter, olive oil, and argan oil. That is amazing to me. This is definitely moisture. If I do my mid-step protein treatment or I do a hard protein treatment, I follow up with this because I know this is gonna just pack back that moisture into my hair my only issue with this is that you get it in packs and I think the packs are like 12 TT dollars so one pack is one use so by the time versus just buying this in a jar which is not available in as yet African pride please put this in a jar but yeah you spend a lot of money using these versus just buying a jar of like a shea moisture mask or something like that the other step that I do is in case my deep conditioners don't detangle my hair I go in with a rinse out conditioner to assist with that detangling process and for that I use the Tresemme Botanique this is the one with the coconut oil and aloe vera and this is supposed to nourish and replenish it has no dyes no parabens no silicones um, so yeah this will make your hair feel soft it will help with detangling the slip is ridiculous with this and it doesn't have silicone so that's always a great thing it has um, decent ingredients in here for the price the size is amazing this is also one that I would tell you you can use when I was talking about the motions pre-wash detangling butter you can use this to detangle your hair as well pre-wash it works well for all of that so this is definitely a must-have in my opinion if you have curls that really need to be detangled because they get tangled so easily of course the next step in any natural hair routine is leave-in conditioner this was also a category that i found difficulty kind of choosing my top favorites in because most of them work fine um i haven't probably paid attention to them so much in terms of moisture because i am still layering them with my oils and all of that but i probably should put them to a deeper test but so far two that i like the first one is again this is not sponsored by shea moisture although i wish it was the jamaican black castor oil leave-in conditioner this one is great I think the size is really good for the price as well um, you get a lot of slip with this because it's very liquidy and yeah it makes my hair feel soft but I know that it has a little protein in there so that always makes me feel comfortable um, the other leave-in conditioner that I like is the Giovanni direct moisture leave-in this one is a little bit thicker than the Shea moisture but again it still aids in detangling it makes my hair feel really soft this one probably makes my hair feel slightly softer than the Shea Moisture one, I think. Um, I guess it's because of the texture and it really does, even though it's thick, it really just sinks into the hair very quickly. So I would definitely recommend this one as well. Two creams that I really like as moisturizer slash curling enhancers before I put in my gel for my wash and goes is the Cantu Cook Cantu Coconut Curling Cream. Um, this has been a favorite of mine. It's also good for twist outs. Um, it gives somewhat of some kind of curl definition, but not very long lasting. But I like how soft it makes my hair feel. Um, I know some people are kind of iffy about this, but I found that my hair really likes this. The smell is amazing. Let me just smell it for good measure. <laughs> yeah the smell is really good um it feels really nice on the hair it sinks into the hair it doesn't just sit on top it penetrates and yeah i would definitely recommend this to you guys if you're looking for a moisturizer twisting agent um cream for your loc method everything another one i would recommend this is an excellent moisturizer is the lotta body moisturize me cool and style milk this is one of the best moisturizers i've found next to the Cantu um, coconut cooling cream that actually makes my hair feel soft and this smells just as amazing as the Cantu one I just love to smell a lot of body I'm sorry I just oh my god it's it's like a paradise a paradise <laughs> but yeah I um, I love this a lot um, makes my hair feel really good it makes my hair smell really good I get a lot of compliments when I put this in my hair and I like it a lot go and buy this one and it's affordable as heck so it's not a great thing and I like the packaging I mean pump come on um, yeah eight ounces has lasted me a really long time I still have a lot of product here and I've, I bought this since last year August yeah so 
yeah what I kind of forgot but is very important are my oils now I would tell you that I'm an avid coconut oil avocado oil grapeseed oil I just use any kind of oil and mix them all together Jamaican black cast oil and put them in a jar and put it on my hair but besides those oils that I think are very important and I would recommend to you guys I use two um, branded oils that I think are really special for my hair the first one is the De Bure Vatica enriched coconut oil now this is like coconut oil enhanced because it has coconut oil it has henna it has amla oil and I think lemon extract in here and this is just a little bit different if you find that coconut oil is a little bit okay what to say in fact you know what if you don't like coconut oil stay away from any kind of coconut oil product but I think that if you love coconut oil this one is a great alternative as well to use as a leave-in oil to use in a hot oil treatment to use as a oil rinse it's just a really nice oil to try it's moisturizing it's not too heavy and I love it this oil I use this in my scalp I only do oils in my scalp on my wash day I don't oil my scalp throughout the week I don't find that my hair needs it but it's the sunny isle Jamaican organic pimento oil with black castor oil and again it has pimento oil it has Jamaican black castor oil grapeseed oil peppermint and eucalyptus so it does make my scalp feel nice not like super tingly but just really nice um, I don't have itching and stuff when I use this so I definitely like it and would recommend product that I love to do my twist outs with and is probably my twist out favorite although I do like the Cantu coconut curling cream is my curls blueberry bliss twist and shock cream my only qualm about this product is that um, this is a twist out using this product about day three I don't have as much curl definition as I have in the earlier days so that's one of my issues with this but I love it another problem is that it's expensive this is about 17 US and it's only eight ounces so let's say if you do twist outs every single week you'll probably get about three months use out of this but if you want to splurge on something for your twist outs I would definitely recommend this if you really can't afford to do that right now go with the Cantu coconut curling cream you get similar results the curls is a little better I must admit but I mean if it was worse than the Cantu for this price I would have been pissed <coughs> last but not least I think uh, my gels and this is what these are the <laughs> this is what I use for my wash and goes um, I have two hair that I really like the first one being the eco styler gel obvious I've only used the olive oil one but I assume that all the eco styler gels work similarly I'm not sure but this one doesn't give me any flakes or any dryness it doesn't dry out my hair once I use some kind of cream before it definitely if you're doing a wash and go with gel you have to use a cream before using any type of gel because the gel will get hard on your hair because it doesn't have enough emollients pre-application of the gel just saying another one that I like but is a bit pricey is the Anne Jackie's flaxseed elongating curl gel elongating is a bit of a rule I I mean for you to have great curl definition for your curls to be popping your curl is gonna have to shrink to its natural curl pattern a hundred percent you can't have a type 4b kind of curl and then expect that because you use an elongating gel it's going to stretch it down to the 3c it's just not going to happen but in terms of the moisture this provides a little bit moisture than the eco styler gel and i think um but again because of that i don't think that the curl definition lasts as long as the eco styler gel but either way i think with these two you will have a really nice wash and go routine to make your curls pop last but not least is my edge control and that is the eden body works coconut shea control edge glaze i really like this product sorry i was looking at my time um <laughs> i have to go pick up my juve costume but anyway um yeah i like this product but i feel as though at the same time it okay let me go again it's an edge control um me being a type 4 hair uh, me having type 4 hair I'm sorry I find that edge controls don't give me like a crazy long-lasting hold 
if I'm using edge control I'm expecting it to be easy to apply to the hair I'm expecting it to at least give me a little bit of hold for a couple of hours but I don't expect five and six hours to be going by and my hair is slick like I left home it's just not possible for my hair type so for me the Eden Body Works provides a nice hold again it's spreadable into the hair but it's not the most long-lasting hold for somebody of my hair type two other products that I think are very important to my hair routine um, the first one being a whitey comb and the one that I would recommend with my eyes closed is the Conair shower comb this one I like the fact that the teeth are covered so you don't get a lot of snagging of the hair um, I like I guess the material everything it just makes my hair um, get detangled really quickly and it's either that comb or my fingers because I don't trust smaller teeth comb I don't like Denman brushes I don't like tangle teasers I haven't found that um, product besides a white tooth comb and my fingers that can detangle my hair without giving me a lot of breakage and I said last but not least but yeah this is the last but not least is um, a satin hair bonnet and this is a shameless plug because I sell these and if you're interested in ordering one and you're from Trinidad and Tobago I'm gonna leave my Instagram down below for you to direct message me but yeah it's a shameless plug but at the same time it really has helped to keep my hair moisturized keep the moisture in my hair um, it looks cute it makes my hair I don't know I just have found great results using a satin bonnet and I have been using the ones that you pick up at the beauty supply store but I feel as though this one it's long lasting the beauty supply ones stretch by the headband as your hair grows and this one I made it really big so it grows with me I'm just gonna show you guys how big I made this but yeah um, Oops. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. So this is this is how sexy I look to go to bed at night. <laughs> this is what gets the guys going. <laughs> but yeah, um, this is what it looks like. So you can see it's very big. I always talk about speaking things into existence and the law of attraction. So I made it big because I know my afro is going to grow and thrive. So I made it big to accommodate that growing afro. And yeah, it's big. It's pretty. I like it a lot so again if you're interested in ordering one of these bonnets I have my Instagram down below direct message me and I'll be able to get one of these to you it's reversible and I make them in custom colors yeah so that concludes the video I hope that you guys found it interesting yet somewhat entertaining I hope that you made it to the end and I hope that by seeing my favorites um, you can try these and fall in love with them just as much as I did um, if you have tried stuff going to buy stuff again put in the comment section I love to hear from you guys I love to respond I love to learn I love to spend money so if you have other recommendations why are you holding back girl and uh, yeah right now it's carnival time in Trinidad and Tobago so I'm gonna get my juvie costume package to play juvie tomorrow and yeah Bye guys. <laughs>